Go. I believe real men cry. In seconds, after finishing my sentence, I was confronted with real men don't cry, faggot. Clenching my sharp teeth and holding my breath of frustrated fury and fire, I take a second to serve this man a deeper part of my heart and a closed off hole of my multi-dimensional emotional soul. My rotating in my mind, I think, how am I going to beat a man two times my size? And then it hit me, Jason, this is a verbal fight and the might and power of my vocal cords expanded and demanded I seek justice from this giant. My first line of defense to his statement was, you better take that back, you self-centered, ignorant, brainless, one emotional tone Sasquatch, because sticks and stones can break my bones, but my words, my words will make you hurt. How can you say a real man doesn't cry? A real man cries when a beloved relative Lay six feet beneath them, faces up, only to see dirt in a tombstone with ten words describing their life. A real man cries when he comes out of a comfortable closet, sticks a tag to his shirt, and takes on the world with, I am a faggot. A real man cries when he is in racial pain, and the devil's devilish attack turn on his race and shame. A real man cries when the bills turn into chapter 11 debt, and the only thing he fed to his son last night was a piece of bread. A real man cries when a, his first love confronts him through text messaging, not knowing what to do. The message read, you were out of town, I didn't mean to cheat on you. A real man cries when stress is a mess and his vision of precision lay scattered in a delusion of confusion. You see, a real man cries when his worst bursts into dust, lays like old rust, and confronts his wife with what he did last night wasn't just. A real man cries when he has done a notable deed. And a real man cries when a helping friend lends and tends to a friend in need. You see, a real man cries when he has received a diploma full of endless opportunities, setting a goal to free freedom or for freedom to free a life-ending disease. Don't you think winning the championship of champions calls for a tear? Or is it the fear of crying on TV and losing your career? What's so wrong with one speck of water and sweat? trickling out of the side of the eye, causing a notion and commotion and hatred towards emotion. Does this world really need an army to stand for criers, fight corrupt liars and put out raging fires? You see, if I was on that army, I'd fight with tears, both far and near, over Atlantic, under Atlantis, across China, into Japan, demand change till change rearrange, and non-criers go insane and say, teach me how to cry your way. So the next time you say a real man doesn't cry, shame, on you because I still cry too.